and SERS substrates. Manuel Gomez, University of Santiago de Compostela. Well, hello everybody and thanks a lot for allowing me to share my work with you, with Brian, with my mates. Well, um, uh, we like to talk about nanofabrication. We probably are familiar with uh, the processors in our computers and laptops and whatever. And look, this guy is an Intel uh, CEO who was presenting here in Berlin this new technology, the 14 nanometers uh, devices. But it's difficult and it's a challenge. It's a reality, of course, but it's a challenge. A wall, a wall to beat every day. And is it now? Now, I'm um, also, sorry. No, I'm for the future because it's increasingly difficult to uh, do smaller and smaller things in the nanometer range. We are uh, fighting against the law, the Moore's law. The other topic of my talk is about, well, about CERS. CERS is a kind of uh, analytical technique, very sensitive, discovered uh, uh, 100 of years ago, but the CERS effect was discovered just 40 years ago by a few people. This is what we do. We design polymers, polymers like this. We call it liquid Teflon. Probably, you don't understand that, but probably you do a cake sometimes. This is the same process. We have a mold, a cheap, an expensive mold, but we can do cheapest things with that. We cook that with ultraviolet light instead of heat, and in seconds, we get a replica. The replica is the last part. But to do a certain sensors, we need a metal. So we put a metal on top of that, and we do something like this. This is the sensors. Probably you can see it, but I have my microscope here. This is the microscope. It's very familiar for you, probably. And what, this is what we do. This is the mold. We have a replica, and this is the metal. millions of times uh, heavier than the normal Raman spectrum. So this is a way to get not only one world, the world of nanofabrication, but also the world of cell sensors and the sensitivity. So it's two worlds in one slide. Thank you a lot. Mm, one question there. Thanks. What is the cost of such a microscope? The microscope is really, really expensive. But the <laughs> objects we are doing is really cheap. When you go, go to, to the market and try to, to buy one of these sensors, the commercial ones is 100 euros each. A piece as small <coughs> as But when we use our method using a polymer, it's cheapest and cleanest. It's just 50. <laughs> Thank you very much.